We budget fam, we budget fam. Good evening. If it's your first time stopping by, you're not yet we budget fam. I uh, welcome you to join. So I'm excited tonight. My webcam is working so I can get some work done. And this video I plan to, um, today is November 2nd. I plan to go in, close October, do some stuffing, cash stuffing for November and just kind of see where I am. If you're interested in getting caught up with me, I welcome you to check it out. Let's get it. All right, so I was super nervous after ending that. I told myself I wasn't going to cut it off, that I was just going to keep it running so I could make sure it didn't have any issues. Uh, if you've been watching, you know that I've been having issues with my webcam and my mic also. So fingers crossed it's all working. I think I probably should stop and make sure I've got sound, but I'm going to just cross my fingers and pray it's all working. Actually, I, I can't do that. I'm going to pause that one. All right, so it looks like it's all working which is what I was hoping for. All right, so because I've been having issues with my camera, I feel like it's kind of uh, just dissuaded me from videoing right now, from recording, from being on budget. I feel like it was just one more issue um, to happen, but I'm happy this evening. Although it's late and I'm behind, um, I'm glad to be here tonight. I'm glad that my camera's working. I see my empty cup up there. I might have to fill it up. <laughs> just to keep it moving anyway i hope everyone is well uh we are in november october flew by ridiculous um but it's all done i did track my savings for october um i end up saving total 613 from my spending groceries from spending groceries gas and household um i saved 613 so, so far, my best month has been July, and that was 637. So, not too bad uh, for October. And uh, most of that, so I did end up, let's see, primary spending. I did end up uh, stuffing some of that cash already. I just put it in the back, the leftover. So, what I have left from the 613, 1, 2, 250, 270, 290, 300. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So $405 is what I have left. And that is money that I have not already used to go into savings. So right now I'm just going to separate this here. I did find my small cash tray. I was in the box with my binders. <laughs> I feel like it just it fits better on this table with this setup anyway. So let's see. Um, in addition to that, I have to go in and just make sure all my bills are paid. Um, spending is out, groceries, gas. Uh, my son has some cash in his. I can stay for now. Uh, fun money. 10, 20, 30. I want to leave $30 in here. I don't have any, let's see, November, I don't have any major plans besides moving. I do plan to move. Um, update there, I'm still in contract. Uh, so right now, um, actually, my, I'm waiting for my loan to finalize. Um, it is with the uh, underwriter right now, so moving on up the steps. At this point, I'm also um, kind of in negotiations with the seller. Um, I did ask for some cash back at closing for repairs um and she did send back <laughs> kind of a slap in the face um but i countered so now and that was all in the last three days um today she sent her counter today i sent my counter to her ridiculous counter so we'll see how that goes tomorrow i really want this house um and i'm actually willing to make some concessions so we'll see Stash, I'm going to keep in here and let it roll over. Extra, and those are good. Um, in addition to that, I have to make sure. So because I haven't been pulling out so much money, I haven't been doing the best at my trackings or even pulling out. Um, let's see. So money like my cell phone. 
I paid my cell phone already. I paid my cell phone um, just straight from my bank account. So this will go back to the bank and it'll go back to my Chase card. Let's see if there's any other bills that were paid. They were all paid, fortunately. I just didn't pull all the cash. As far as credit cards, all this was pulled. All the credit card payments. There's two credit card payments. Both of those were paid. Let's see. One I actually ended up paying late just because I was distracted. Um, Hair's got a couple bucks. I'll keep that in there. Insurance money this needs to come out. I just need to. Both of these were paid. Um, all my insurances were covered. These were, I'll put these in my chase as well. And that's that. The other thing that I haven't really been doing because I haven't been pulling a lot of money out the bank is I haven't been doing any like regular savings into my um, sinking funds. Um, I did have my bonus cash and some of the leftovers that I've been using um, to do some pick and pull and some of my um, Pick and pull in some of my scratchers and stuff like that, savings challenges. Um, but I haven't been doing the regular. I used to always do a monthly just off the top. I would put something into all of my categories, and I haven't been doing that um, before. So this is the total then for I pulled out of there, put all those out. This is the total saved. You know what? I probably should have put that to the side because I've already taken money out of here. Anyway, we're going to count this as the total save from those standard categories was 613. After doing some monthly savings, this is what I have left. So money did go into my sinking funds, um, into grandson's extra savings challenge, and to some other areas. This is what I now have left um, to kind of to save with now. So after taking the extra cash out of my primary and other areas, fund money I didn't spend, this is what I have. 100, 400, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 400, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, 425, have to go into my sinking funds or savings challenges or wherever I want to put it. Um, I do want to... I want to finish my grandson savings challenge. Um, so I am not using that one as, you know, as money to go to him. I was actually just doing this for my October savings. Uh, so let's see what I have left here. I do want to finish this one off and then see what I was able to save. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. And in my jar, marker, and let's see what more we can save. And then I'll get to see how much my savings challenge was able to do um, with the numbers that grandson picked out. Calculator here. Let's see what we can save. Did I say happy Thursday? Well, I'll say happy Friday because I'm not going to get this out today. So happy Friday, everyone. Um, payday Friday. Anybody sitting at their budget right now? Payday Friday. Um, let's see. This first one, game time, is five dollars. Plus the football is eighteen dollars. Plus the run is ten. Football twenty. Game time is five. Game time five. Field goal is three. Uh, game is ten. Football is eighteen, and game time is five. So ninety nine dollars is what I owe to this savings challenge. I'm going to take one hundred dollars out. So who wants to put all this in here? 
money everywhere. Uh, please be seated. Um, a hundred dollars. So let's see, grandson savings challenge. What I was able to do saving wise. Get these situated. Actually, they're pretty good. I'm looking forward. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna just um get some new numbers. Maybe he can, if he comes visit this weekend, we can get some new numbers out for November. I actually talked to him today. He was home and <laughs> they were having leftover spaghetti for dinner. And he called me asking if I would send him money to get him a burrito. So I said, how crazy would that look? Your grandmother would have a fit if I sent you money to get a burrito. And you're supposed to be having leftovers for dinner. So I told him maybe tomorrow. All right, grandson saving challenge with the numbers that I picked. And my numbers were, or that grandson picked, 15, 10, 5, 20, 18, and 3. And with that, I was able to save a whopping 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 313 dollars, which is good. 313 for my grandson savings challenge, game day savings challenge. Again, thank you for everybody that um, has supported grandson savings challenge. He is, he'll be saving all summer, so we'll keep the savings going. Um, all the sales, of course, are going to um, his football helmet, and then just overall his expenses, um, football-wise or sports-wise, um, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, I did send out, I think I sent out seven packages this morning. So, again, thank you everybody that has supported Grandson Savings Challenge. They do come in the 5 by 7 or excuse me, they come in to fit in this um a5 and then also an a6 edition too i'm using a5 of course and inspired by hop in the budget with bunny because she likes her a5 binders so that's set that's this cash i haven't i'll figure out i'll do something with it later um but i'll have this cash to save and i'll clean that off and start a new also just going into his i dropped this thing earlier Hoping I didn't break it and it looks cool. I'm gonna pull out one, two, three numbers for him and put some savings in for him. And that's 20. This is the one that's gonna have the big bucks in there. And I think I feel like I'm doing pretty good as far as knocking it out. But I'm gonna keep it keep it going too. I'm not going to finish it off. I'll keep working on it. Again, this is going to be to double whatever he saves. So it is going to miss some grandson savings as well. It's almost 10 o'clock. And I'm just getting started. But that's all good. Everybody had a good week so far. So it's Friday. If you're watching this on Friday, I'll be posting it sometime tomorrow. Any big plans for the weekend? As for me, right now I'm moving stuff to storage. I think it'll be an easier transition. I'm staying hopeful. So my closing date is scheduled for grandson saving. Oh no, every every dollar count savings challenge. So um, my closing date is scheduled for the the 16th. So that's 14 days, two weeks away. Um, fingers crossed, everything goes as planned. Mortgages, the mortgage company seems satisfied at the moment. Um, but again, it's in, with the underwriter. Fingers crossed, all that goes well. And if I can hash out this deal with the seller, we'll be good to go. But I really am excited about this house and hoping to be making some moves um, in just a couple weeks. You'll be there with me to do it. Um, extra cash here. I feel like I haven't had extra. Well, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of stuck on what to do. I know I need to close up. I need to situate. I need to get some money out so I can have some money for 
um, November. So I think I'm going to just put this up for now and I'll have this as this will be in my extra. You know, I like to keep my extra around. Find it. Extra. Extra envelope. So next or this month, later on, later videos when I need to save. I got some cash to save with. And this will go towards my sinking funds. Um actually before I put that up, I think I will look in my binders just to make sure I don't have any IOUs. Doing me may have. Uh oh. I didn't put these back after. One of these has an IOU. No, game day, board game. Maybe I paid it. I thought I had an IOU for somebody. Oh, envelopes are here. Me. Stat. Right. Smile. Lots. Game board. Maybe we're good. If you remember where my IOU was, you can let me know. I would have almost bet money that I have one. <laughs> uh, family savings, let's just peek through here. Personal clothes, health, student loans, emergency, giveaway, and vision, home, moving, bedroom. There's one. My son's room has one. He's got 15 bucks. 10, 15 for him. Because I haven't had a lot of cash moving around. I don't have much to consolidate right now. So I do need to add them up though. I haven't been tracking. Uh, check, check, check. Family. Son's birthday, my birthday, vacation, family, Christmas, gifts. I need to take some of this money out of family because they owe me. I just paid a phone bill, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Only $50 for a phone bill. But I'll leave that be for now. Um, check annual payments and that'll be good. Um, looks like I found, no, capital one, blue. Do I just go in here? Chase, car, prime, life insurance. No, well, looks like these are all good. So I'm going to leave these for now, put this extra cash away. I really remember there was one because I wrote on top of, I feel like I wrote 18 on one of those. I'll see it at some point. May have fulfilled it. I don't think so, but either way, extra cash is here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten up. I'm going to pull my cash out for, I did pull cash out to uh, do my primary month, my primary spending. I'm going to pull that cash out and we can stuff that and I'll be ready for November. Be right back. All right, let's get November stuffed. So, if you're just starting off, I am He Budgets. Uh, welcome to my channel. I am budgeting my way to home ownership, and it's so so close, so close. Um, let's see. So, stuffing my primary spending. As far as my primary spending, I have my spending, groceries, gas money, money for my son. Household, fun money, stash, get some extra cash, giving, my extra spare uh, savings for this binder, and then weekly leftover when I get, as I go through the months. Uh, the One of the ways that I find I save best is that at the end of each week, I pull out my extra savings. So for my spending, my groceries, my gas, and household, I strive to save uh, the most that I can in those areas in buying deals and cooking at home, um, not burning up gas. Those are ways that I find that I save the best. So for my categories, I've already um, used my spreadsheet here to allocate um, the numbers and my cash should match. Um, today I am stuffing, I'm supposed to count this. I feel like it's been so long since my computer, my computer and everything has been acting up and um, I haven't been moving too much money around. I haven't really gone through this step. But this is my cash that I'm going to stuff. So the way that I used to do my stuffing for the month is I would pull out and I would save for all of my categories. All of my binders used to get something. 
Um, but for right now, I'm only saving in specific binders. Um, I want to put some money into my primary spending. I want to put some money into my um, bills, my monthly bill binder, and also going to put something into my family uh, binder. Besides that, the other areas I'll start um, just doing some savings as either extra cash comes in or uh, from my extra envelope, which I made earlier in this video. Um, but for this saving calculator, it's gotten even later. It is uh, 9.58 now. So let's wrap this up. One, two, 250. 350, 450, 550, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 150, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 8, so into my binders today and my Initial stuffing for November, I want to stuff $1,428. Let's get it. So I just want to thank the Lord that this is working out tonight, that my camera's working. Um, before it worked the first time I plugged it in, it was having some of the same issues. I went in and um, checked the settings right quick, and then it just turned on. So thank you, Lord, that that's working. Uh, one less thing I have to consider in life. Um, all right, so for primary spending, I'm stuffing, and this is just cash that I use for random stuff. If I eat out, um, if we buy anything like from the store, uh, gas station, we buy sodas or something. This is where this money comes from. Um, spending is getting 200, 20s is getting nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four fives, one, two, three, four. And that's $200. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 90, 95. $200. Uh, next is groceries. Groceries is getting 350. And 50s is getting 51, 50, 200. And 50s, 620s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And three tens. One, two, three. Fifty one, fifty two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty three, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, three fifty for groceries. Gas is getting two fifty. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five. Zero throw me off. And two twenties. And 110, 250 for gas, 51, 52, 20, 40, 50. The house that I'm looking at is very close to my job. I'll be saving even more in gas, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, 190 for my son, let's get in 150, 90. 150, 70, 90, 190 for him. Household gets his regular 40. And it's getting two 20s, one and two. I feel like we've been going through a lot of deodorant lately. <laughs> I feel like I'm all, I keep stocking up, but I just went in and saw that there's only one in the cabinet. So let's see about that. Having some more. Um, fun is only getting 50, so we used to do 100, but just in changing our budget up, we're now doing 50 for fun. I've been kind of uh, fiddling around with the numbers, seeing um, just how I will change my numbers to accommodate the mortgage and just utilities and different payments. 
Um, so I've been trying to figure that out, just kind of see what it's going to look like. Um, but I've been trying to just lessen some of the areas, like fun money where we used to have 100, just dropping it down for now, seeing how that works. And as you saw, there was leftover in here. So it's working out. And I'll just start rolling it over, which I didn't do before. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. And I'm adding that to the 30 that's in there. So that's 80 bucks. So almost 100. Look forward to not spending all of it and stacking a little bit more on that. Uh, stash is getting 10 bucks. I believe this one, that number went down too. All good. Um, let's see, that's it for primary spending. Who else is getting something? Uh, monthly bills. I will be stuffing those as regular. Extend. Uh, Cricket is getting 10 bucks. And I need to redo my binders. When I redo my binders, I will move Cricket over to my bill binder um, and start paying that from there. Um, Pandora is getting 10 bucks as well. Netflix is getting 16, 10, 15, 16. My cell phone gets this regular 10 bucks for the month. Uh, my saving gets 50. Credit cards is getting their regular 27. Uh, 20, 25, 26, and 27. Uh, rent, I did not pull out. I'm keeping that in the bank. And here, I didn't change that. Like I would have bumped that up. Let's see. Credit cards. What did I just do? Car payments is also, I left that in the bank. Um, this goes into credit card. Uh, rent is in the bank. Hair. I guess I'm really just not planning to get my hair done right now. And then also, I think I'll drop this down because I have, if I remember right, doing me have my hair binder. Let's see if I have anything in here that'll reason why I'm not locked. Yeah, there's one in here. 110, 14. 114 is plenty if I needed to get my hair done at the shop. That money is there. So well, that's why I dropped that down. But just to continue to save something in there, I'm saving two bucks. Two bucks in there. Um, insurance is getting as regular 138, 100, 20, 35, 6, 7, and 8. 100, 20, 35, 6, 7, and 8 for insurance. And this insurance covers my um, different life insurance policies. For myself and my family insurance check and then I think the only other one I'm saving into is going to be family um, annuals I'll do some saving in that later so family because the calls continue that's just my position and I'm content with it I'm gonna put 50 bucks in here 20 40 and 50 when I get my calls and just to keep Something in this binder with Christmas coming up just in case I'm putting that extra 25 in here 20 and 5 means my budget was correct my numbers were good all the cash is gone and the basic areas of my budget are stuffed for November uh, the only other thing I need to do I need to put some cash in my wallet This 50 bucks, I'll put this in here last night uh, when I emptied my wallet, when I closed out my savings. This goes back to the bank. I had just pulled this out just to have some cash in my wallet because I hadn't cashed stuff just yet. So that goes back in there. So not complaining or anything, but just bringing it to the attention of my viewers. Um, I had... A uh, person that purchased these wallet envelopes, and I have the measurements on there, but they're made to fit a standard, pretty much a man's wallet. When I made these, I made them for myself, um, and I wanted them to be able to fit into my wallet. 
Um, I don't make different sizes. The sizes are all the same. They are made by hand, so they may fluctuate slightly. Um, but the measurements that are on there are pretty um, close, um, a rough estimate that are pretty close to standard man wallet. Um, just the person that bought them, I guess she wanted them to fit into a smaller wallet and they don't. Um, so just heads up to other, anybody else that decides to purchase these wallets. They fit a standard man's wallet. Just hands up. So, you know, um, let's see if we're spending cash. I'm going to put just 40 bucks in here and I need to check my calendar so I can see which dates will be my weekly close. Last month it was October, um, October. Last month in October, it was Tuesdays. So we'll see. Groceries, I'm gonna put 50. I'm really hopeful that um, the house closes. So I think hopefully tomorrow I'll know if the seller agrees to the terms or where we are. Um, but I think that's really the last step. The loan should, should be fine. Like I've dealt with the mortgage and everything. Um, they got all my numbers and I've been talking with the guy the whole time. So hopefully everything is up and up and it's just the legality in the process at this point. Um, I'm hoping to close on the 16th. Um, home is getting its 20. And then we'll make adjustments. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to showing the fam the keys. <laughs> I appreciate all the support through this process. I look forward to um, going back and just kind of documenting the process, kind of documenting um, what it's looked like for me. Um, maybe, I don't know, redocument, going back and um, just telling my story. And then also just talking about how I'll adjust my budget and what budget will look like as a homeowner for me, a new first time homeowner. Uh, that's a wrap. I hope everyone is well. I'm going to wrap this up for today. Uh, hope, um, I wish you all a great weekend. Um, I thank you for your time. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Um, I need to make some rounds. I'm hoping because I finally am in just the wait stage of the home buying process that I'll have some time to um, get on YouTube. Check out some of the fam. I miss y'all. I miss seeing um, just what you got going on. Um, for those of you have, who have channels um, I'm, and for those that don't, I'm Looking forward to chatting with you. Um, just hoping everyone's good. Take care. Blessings. Peace to you all. Until next time. Peace.